Well, this has been the scene throughout the day in the Sacramento Valley. Take a look at the debris in the road in the, the Thomas area earlier today. Parking lots seeing some ponding as well. The rain and woodland not letting up for hours either today. Just take a look at these roads. This video sent in by one of our viewers of the area. A flooded warning sign posted letting people know to slow down. The wind also a problem today all across the region as we saw gusts above 40 miles an hour in some locations. This tree splitting apart and landing on a house in Nicktown, Sacramento earlier this morning. And this is the scene in the Sierra on I-80 with inches of snow falling every single hour as the storm continues to push east, causing dangerous travel conditions for many on the roads. The winds shaking the camera there. Now we're on the storm watch this afternoon in this special edition of ABC 10 News. I'm Luke Clary and I'm Devin Trumi. So let's get right over to meteorologist Carly Gomez with a look at our weather. Carly, a lot to talk about. We have so much to talk about, including potential for some uh, funnel cloud formations happening right now. Let's take a look at the map because I want to show you we are starting to see that clearing around the Sacramento area, but the storm system moving toward the southeast. Our friends in Jackson, Murphy, Sonora, even down south of Mede uh, Stockton there into Modesto and Merced, starting to see a lot of activity. Downpours pushing through and take a look at some thunderstorm activity also happening south of Sonora. As we get that closer look there, we're getting some early detection signs of at least a potential for a funnel cloud formation as we are seeing winds start to whip around in that circular motion. So we'll keep our eye on that system there. Now also taking a look here, a lot of that Sierra snow pushing through as that line has pushed through all through the morning hours into the early afternoon. We all saw it around the Sacramento area. Now our friends further south in the Central Valley really getting hit hard at this hour. Let's take a look at the winds and I want to show you that area where I was talking about. Do you notice how the winds here and those arrows kind of do this weird circular pattern? We've been looking at those spots also where those thunderstorms are happening and we are tracking that potential for a funnel cloud also happening a little further north of Sonora, but strong winds still 10 to 15 miles per hour. We saw some of those peak wind gusts about 38 miles per hour in Sacramento, 46 in Marysville, 53 in Truckee, 48 in Placerville. Now in the Gilmore backyard, it is a little wet out there still. We are looking at temperatures of right around those mid 50s right now and through the over overnight hours, we will continue to get those scattered showers, not that solid rain we've seen for hours, but more or less scattered showers continuing could be intense at times through the evening hours. By morning, we should start getting some rays of sunshine, but we still have potential for thunderstorms. We'll talk more about that coming up. All right, thanks, Carly. We'll check in with you in just a few minutes and take a look at this at Heavenly Mountain Resort in the Lake Tahoe area. The ski lift being tossed back and forth by those very strong winds with the blowing snow. The ski resort resort rather po posting the video saying this is a reminder that wind hold is always for your safety. And the Sacramento Fire Department had to help several people in their cars get out safely after power lines fell on or near them. So let's take a look. This happened on Grant Line and Sunrise Boulevard just before nine this morning. The drivers had to stay in their cars until smud crews arrived to cut the power and assist the fire department in making sure everyone was safe. Thankfully, there were no reports of any injuries.